My name is Mark Chavez and this is my artwork, uh, Guadalupe. This piece is generated with artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques that are very new and novel, uh, having just uh, become available to artists worldwide uh, less than a year ago. So what I do here is I'm using a, a prompt that uh, sources Guadalupe, the uh, artwork made in the 16th century by um, Jacobin priests to redirect taxation from uh, Spain to Mexico. It was a whole plot they came up with to uh, uh, pull this artwork, to pull, to you, you know, even forging this artwork not really forging it, but they found a uh, indigenous artist to make this artwork based on um, patterns they had and uh, paintings they had prior. So, uh, but this work artwork uses that as an initial image. It's maybe I use it 50% or so. And then I paste on top of it, not necessarily paste, but using AI, I remap all these other cultural concepts on top of it. And what's really interesting about this artwork is that it's all prompted by words. So I haven't animated or gone in and designed any of it except through generative animation. So uh, I specifically, and it takes quite, it takes quite a bit of time to uh, uh, find the right artwork to generate the right pieces uh, because uh, y it, the process is iterative in that you use seeds to generate numerous pieces. So on this piece I generated uh, initially more than 125. I selected 125 images and then I interpolated between them to create 4,000 images and then I further interpolated that to create an hour long. So 4,000 is only about, I think it's about a little more than uh, three minutes, four minutes or so. So it's an hour long stretched, and then I did a whole bunch of stuff to make it move nicely, move smoothly, and uh, I gave it some visual effects. I use, uh, I use, I ha I've been doing uh, computer animation since uh, 1980, so I'm fairly versed with uh, techniques. And so it's, it's, it's kind of like playtime when I go in there, or, or just time to learn and explore uh, the artwork. So, uh, uh, that's what I did here. So if you look at it from a distance, you can see a silhouette that is uh, the Guadalupe image. And it kind of goes around here. And then here you can see little horns and there's an angel down here and horns coming up. And it, it, they, it comes and goes out of, out of uh, your vision or the vision of, of this art piece. But then I've also mixed in um, things like uh, luchadores, which are Mexican wrestlers, and then uh, pop, Latino surrealism, and different pop art calls. And it's all with words now. I don't actually make anything. I don't actually draw anything. I just use words. And I can generate th this kind of color, these kinds of colors. All of it is like all of this little, little words that come out. These little words that come out uh, are uh, reminiscent of the uh, Florentine Codex which uh, was a book that was written after, after the uh, Spaniards came to Mexico and burnt all the books, uh, you know, f thousands of books, more than 5,000 books and banners were, were destroyed by them because they, were, they thought they were of the devil. And then they realized they had no way of really understanding these people, so they went and wrote this multi-volume Florentine Codex. And in that, but these were, this is with, you know, the descendants of the people who had uh, written those original books. And so uh, in, in those new books that they wrote, they have put these translations. Uh, on one side would be uh, Spanish and the other side would be the native Nahuatl. Uh, and so that's what you see when the, when the words are coming in, it's going to calls like that. So it has a lot of historical background, this, this uh, uh, painting. Uh, in addition, it was used as a war banner the Guadalupe image as a war banner during the revolution. So, you know, and now I, I've repurposed it to 
kind of become a you know my war banner towards uh, uh, you know discussing you know the current state of affairs in in in, in Mexico in my life and and uh, in our, in our life too uh, because this is this kind of kind of pastiche of cultural events that are happening all around us. So that's pretty much what the artwork is is about. I mean, I could go deeper and deeper. Every little bit has a little bit of meaning. But, uh, uh, you know, in a nutshell, it also uses uh, this, this phenomena called uh, pareidolia, where, you know, you look at it, you think you see things. Like, I think I see a face there. I think I see a face here. There's something happening there, which uh, is a, a real fascinating. And actually, there probably are faces there. And, probably are uh, little funny little illusions. This looks like writing, but you can't read any of this writing. So, you know, that's really exciting. <laughs> it, it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be have the feeling of these things. Yeah, it was really, really fun to make. And this is the kind of artwork I'm, I'm dedicated to. Actually, I want to make a short film. I have this really fun idea of not doing something. Maybe it won't look anything like this, but it'll use these techniques. They're so, so strong now, and, and it's just happening right now. Actually, we're going to be teaching uh, two classes, myself and my partner, Ina Conradi, uh, at NTU. We're going to be focusing on AI in art. So, you know, by this time next year or, you know, within a few months, there's going to be a ton of AI artists in Singapore. <laughs> That'll be really fun. <laughs>